Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we're going to take a look at Wilcom True Sizer, which is a program that converts embroidery files into different types of formats. And it's a good post-production tool for quality control and for exporting to different formats whether it's a raw embroidery file or a export file. So you see when you go to their website there's two different versions. There's a web version and then there's an application that you can install on your computer. So you can see that they're both free and one's web based and one's PC based. The web based obviously works on everything because it's in a browser except for IE and the PC based is, works just like an application on a PC. Ultimately though I would say that you have many more features with the PC downloadable version. You can take a look at the differences when you go to download it if you choose to do so. So when you go to download it you've got to sign up for an account and they collect quite a bit of information. They seem like a pretty safe company. They partner with Corral for uh, drawing implementation into some other software. But I wanted to point out this area right here because the, the form kicked back on me once. So you gotta make sure that you fill out these questions. All right, so now that we've got the program installed, when you open it, you get a little splash screen showing some of their other products. Uh, they've got some great software. It's quite expensive, but it's pretty awesome. Seems like I've never tried it, but this program works great. So we'll go ahead and we'll open our file. In order for it to see the file, it has to be selected the file type. So in this case, it's a DST. And then I'll go ahead and take you through some features here. So there's a print feature that's pretty neat. You have to select the object and then you can go up to print and go to print preview and it will put out a production worksheet and it'll give you several different values that tell you everything from you know the number of stops to color changes, minimum stitch length, height, all that information so that's pretty interesting. I'm not going to go through every feature because you can't use every feature for what I'm kind of showing in this video. So you can explore it on your own if you want, but it does have some useful features that I will show. And just the big thing is, is if for my purpose, this video is to show how to convert a DST file and just a little intro to Wilcom TrueSizer. The other tools such as scaling, and rotation when I tried to use them they distorted my embroidery design so that's why I'm just going to focus on kind of what's useful and what it is useful for is being a production tool like a post-production check your stitch type of application but first before I show those other ones there's one more little fun feature that you can capture the embroidery design as a bitmap and you can export it without the backdrop if you like. Um, you can email it, which is kind of handy. So those are some neat features as well. So one of the good post-production tools is TrueView. And this will allow you to see the quality of your stitching. And possibly save you maybe going to the machine, stitching it out and not looking so good and having to come back and redesign. Um, and you can really zoom in and see what the stitches look like. There's other features that allow you to see what the stitch holes are. If you want to do that, you can um, see where the, the needle's actually going to be going in and out of the material. But it gives you a good idea. And I've noticed lately, and I don't know if it's me or if it's Sophie So or if it's my machine, but the, at least the spider web design. Um, was a little bit sloppy. It was a little looser than I would have liked it. It, was, it turned out well, I think, but it was a little sloppy. And if any of you guys downloaded it um, and you got the same result, just let me know because I'm curious as if it's uh, just me or not. But if, if you want to download it, you can go check out the video 
of where I made it and that has the link attached and I'm keeping that up for a little while yet but uh, another feature is it has a stitch out feature which is in Sophie so but it's it's another view it's another set of eyes if you will and that could come in handy to see if it maybe stitches out different in true sizer than it did while you're getting ready to export it in Sophie so and now finally the export feature which you just simply save the file as and you've got several different choices so if you're looking to save as a PES file versus a DST and the brother machine that I have the SE 400 takes both you can do that and it'll ask you about what version of PES you want to save as as well as the hoop size and the hoop size 100 by 100 is a 4 inch hoop roughly and that's how simple exporting is so next I will show you um, what the file looks like and I'll do a quick real super quick uh, cut up stitch out of it so you can see what they look like side by side because that's one of the things that I was curious about is if there's going to be any difference in the stitching but uh, you just put it onto your machine and you can see it's a PES file and on the right here we've got the brother machine already hooked up and ready to go and I've got a video that shows how to import if you go to my channel and take a look I'll maybe put up a link um, and you can see it right there through the USB now the cool thing is as you can see it's an image of the spider web where the DST files you can see here are just file names so I thought that was pretty neat so there's my spider web in DST and there it is in PES and we can just select it and put it up for use and go ahead and do a quick stitch out and then take a look at what they look like side by side but that's Wilcom TrueSizer um, it has more features it probably would have a lot more use for me if I had a little bit better software Sophie so is good but it's not quite you know some of the software that's out there especially what it looks like the Wilcom application for embroidery is because that combines with Corel draw and you can digitalize bitmaps really easy it looks like I haven't tried it yet so as this finishes up I just want to say thanks for watching I appreciate all the comments that everybody's been leaving next week I plan on doing a Thanksgiving video uh, one of the default embroidery designs that's on the brother that comes stock loaded into the machine so we can see what those look like maybe try to incorporate it with a project here you see them side by side they're pretty close so I would say it did a pretty good job they look pretty identical to me and that's it that's another burly so we'll see you guys next week leave your messages and comments below share the video if you liked it please subscribe if you haven't I'm purified and thanks for watching burly so